and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Saturday Ultimate Legends. Now, guys, we got three Legends as per usual on a Saturday. They are all 98 overalls, which is cool. Just like last week, we're finally getting to that 98 overall range. Now, guys, these cards are looking pretty solid. Looking pretty solid from the screenshots. shots. I got obviously the behind the card stats to really be sure of everything. Because some cards, like a, like the one Willie Brown, could be a lot better if certain things on the card are even better. But if not, he would just be very comparable to Nitro Lane, if not worse. So a lot of things could really make or break some of these cards. But I am super excited for some of these. Two of these specifically. One of them is looking like it could be super solid. Although I think it could be bait. I really got to go check into everything. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on your bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And comment down below if you guys have any questions or any input to put towards the Ultimate Legends. Now, guys, let's head on over to the auction block and check everything out. But before we do, let's make sure the packs are up because it's always a good indicator if things are in. Because you know how many times I've looked for Legends and the packs weren't even up yet. So the Ultimate Legend bundle is up. Again, these are way too expensive, guys. I can't stress this enough. 180k is not worth it. Like, um, you literally have to pull. Like, now, because there's 98, it's super expensive. But prior to that, you had to, even if you pulled a full Legend, you could still just, you might actually lose coins on reduction. If you pull half the full ones, you're barely making coins or you're losing coins. You'd have to pull one of the new ones, and even then, you'd only make a little bit unless you pull the LTD. Not a fan of it, in my opinion. Not a fan of the whole system of those Ultimate Legend packs. If they were like 120k, they'd be a little more bearable, but even then, I still don't think so. Now, here we go. Randall Cunningham, Willie Lanier, and the LTD is Willie Brown. So, a good crop of these three. Willie Lanier's. You're going to have to have some nice back-of-the-card stats to make up for some of the stats I saw. But Randall Cunningham, if he gets human joystick, guys, which I, I heard he does, could be a pretty glitchy QB, although I think he could be bait. And you guys know what I mean by bait. Bait is what I refer to cards that they EA drops a card with something new or crazy that you're like, wow, I need to have it, and you spend all your coins on it, and then a week later, and that's like consistent. All the new quarterbacks are gonna have that. They always do that. Like they'll drop the first running back with an ability, like armbar, and then a week later, every every new running back starts to get that ability. It's been the case all year, guys. So I think it could be bait. I think we're gonna be getting a Vic in the near future, like two weeks from now, and that Vic will have human joystick and everything, dashing dead eye. He'll literally have everything on him. But let's go check out these new Ultimate Legends and see what they're looking like. Now, these have actually went up a little bit. Remember, Ultimate Legends will come down today. These were like 300k. They will probably come down more because it is Ultimate Legends Saturday. As you guys know, prices typically do come down on Ultimate Legends Saturday for all Ultimate Legends and pieces. So remember, don't always just buy the card. Like, Try sniping the card, and if the card price is still looking a little high for you, I always recommend you go on ahead and you make an attempt to go check out their pieces because you can sometimes, like, let's say Randall Cunningham's 500k. But all of his pieces are going for low. Well, let's say right now, better example. Me, uh, Joe Thomas is 368 right now. And because it's Legend Saturday, it goes to 320. Go check out his Legend pieces. You might be able to find his pieces and build them all together for about 280, which is a great save. Now, you might think, but wait, if I sell him for 310 or 320, I'm not really making any coins. Yeah, you're right. But if you want to keep him, it's always better to build them usually because you can probably get another 30K off because that's accounting for the, the reduction. You, you just skip that whole part, which I think is super awesome in terms of building a car. That's why I always check the build before I end up buying. And there we go. Willie Lanier is on the block. 98 overall Willie Lanier. Let's see what the stats looking like. Six foot one, good height, 90 speed. Here's where it kills me: 90 speed and 90 excel and 89 strength. He's not the most physical being here. I mean, that speed's kind of slow. For my, uh, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. 96 tackle, 97 play rack, 97 block shed, 97 hit power, 83 zone. Powered and kept up. He will have 99 play rack. He will have like probably close to 99 hit power if just 98. Have 99 block shed. Have 99 tackle. He's gonna be the ultimate linebacking. He has the ultimate linebacking stats, but compare him to like my Shazier. Shazier already feels kind of slow, and he's two speed faster. Devin Bush feels kind of slow, and he's faster. So in my opinion, I think I need like you at this point with 99 speed guys. Will Lanier, if you have a running back, you can just run right around him, or just like it's it's at that level. Obviously, I know that you get a little boost being on defense, and you don't feel as slow as like an offensive player would feel at that speed. But I think that we're going backwards here. Like I thought Ray Lewis was ready too slow, and now Will Lanier looks slower. Like, in terms of what he's, when he was dropped as a 98, I really don't think this is it. The jumping is only decent at an 85. Yeah, I don't think I can really recommend this card, in my opinion, over some others. Now, if you have him on, like, a Chiefs team team, go, by all means, go ahead, because he will be super, super solid on Chiefs team team, because he will have, like, a 95 speed. Now, remember, you can power him up with Sprinter, which will get you up to, like, a 93 overall speed, plus John Madden. You can get him to a 94, which, in that case, he's super solid. But, again, if you have to do all that to get him up, why not just get a guy who has a 94 speed, like Devin White, and get him all the way up with sprinter and everything, which would be like a 97 speed on linebacker. Just my personal opinion. Now, let's refresh this to see if the Brown or the Randall Cunningham are up. They should be up. Here goes the Cunningham. 850K. That was expected. 92 speed, 97 throw power. 
93rd throw short, 89th throw mid, 97th throw deep, 93th throw under pressure, 97th throw on the run, and 92 play action. What I've always wondered is every running quarterback, they always kill his mid range, and that's probably, I don't know if it's because of real life and how they played, but I feel like that's always because if you made their mid range good, they'd be old, the ultimate weapon because most people throw mid, and then a lot of people like to run. If you gave them both, they could do everything. I guess that's to limit who you use, but let's compare them real quick to uh, Pat Mahomes. I was going to kill him. Fat, way faster than Mahomes. Same throw power because if you power up and come up, if you put throw, go deep, Randall Cunningham has the same one. Short accuracy, chemed up, going to be slightly worse. Medium accuracy is going to be slightly worse. Deep accuracy is actually way better considering OB 99, although Mahomes, I think, powered up and chemed up will get it also. Throwing the pressure is worse. Throwing the run is going to be the same powered up and chemed up. These cards are very similar, not going to lie. Cards are very similar. Mahomes really only kills him in short accuracy and medium accuracy. Other than that, everything's going to be damn near the same. Guys, this card's not bad at all, and I heard it does get human joystick. It does with 99 agility, so... And he's going to have four ability slots. So think about that. He's going to get four ability slots because he's going to be a base 99 when you power him up. And he has 99 agility. His card could get super, super glitchy with a 92 speed, 91 sp He's going to get, like, evasive human joystick. If he gets dash and Deadeye too, guys, and escape artist and everything... This card's going to be super glitchy. 99 break sack. Wow. Guys, this Cunningham's amazing. Insane Randall Cunningham. Guys, that now that's a card. Now, let's check if this Willie Brown's up real quick. And that's up right there. Perfect. Everything right in order. 6 foot 1, 94 speed, 93 excel, 92 agility, 93 jumping, 96 play rec, 97 men, 96 zone, and 96 press. Again, the card looks super solid. It's just, in my opinion, I feel like very similar to a Night Train lane type build. I think Denzel Ward pretty much blows him away right here. Way faster, way more excel, way more agility, way better jumping, slightly less play rec, same man, way less zone, same press. And this is an older card, is my point. Nitro Lane, you compare them. The next Nitro Lane. I'm pretty sure the next Nitro Lane is identical to this Willie Brown just about. And the difference, it all comes down to his hit power here. If his hit power and block shed are insane, he's good. If they're not great, then you're better off going Nitro Lane. So see, block shed's bad. Okay, so that's, that's off the board. It, has to come, it comes down to hit power. 81 hit power. Not bad, but Nitro Lane gets like. Nitro Lane gets like a 90, a 92, I believe, or something like that. So, Nitro Lane takes the cake, in my opinion, guys. Best one. Randall Cunningham is the best legend here, by far. Followed by pro probably Brown and then Lanier. I'm not really a fan of Lanier, but guys, you guys, if you do plan to open the packs, which I do not recommend, these cards are going to be a little bit more worthwhile because Randall Cunningham will maintain a very high price tag for probably a pretty decent amount of time. Based off that human joystick, if, for as long as he's the only human joystick quarterback, he will have that. He will, he will have that price tag. The only thing with him, though, is going to be the fact that Michael Vick could come out very shortly, and that could dis disrupt everything. But other than that, as long as there's no other quarterback for a little bit, he will hold the price tag. Brown's going to be expensive because he's an LTD. And Lanier is going to be a, he's probably going to be the cheapest of the bunch, but he'll still probably be at least 300 k But that's about it as far as that. Okay, so that is about it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's Legend video. Now, guys, personally, I really did like these Legends for the most part. Will I be picking up any of them? It really just depends because the issue with some of these Legends are just like... Position availability at this moment in time, like quarterback. Randall Cunningham looks awesome, but he looks like the bait. So far, I'm hearing human joystick, like I said. Could be awesome. Could be super good in a quarterback. How great could it be in a quarterback? I think on a running quarterback, it could be extremely useful, especially because there's a the thing with quarterbacks, right? When it comes to quarterbacks, everyone always wants to hit stick them. They want to strip them because they know it's an easy fumble. So you can easily just stick around everyone. It's, it's literally the most simple thing. I that's, literally, that's what I do naturally with a quarterback. So imagine with human joystick, it would just make it so much better. But... I feel like it's a debate. We're probably going to be coming around probably a Vic in the near future that gets human joystick. It's going to be even better as a passer, better everything else. I don't know yet, but it looks like it could be just bait. I might wait because I know he's going to be crazy expensive being like one of the first human joystick quarterbacks. So I definitely want to wait in terms of that before I go on ahead and spend all my coins on that. And then as far as like the lane year and stuff, like just overall, too slow. 90 speed. You just can't, you can't justify that. There's, Devin White is 95 and that's like linebackers. Doesn't matter how good your zone is or your hit power, your block shed. At this point, with 99 speed players, you won't even get close enough to them to block shed and get off of them or to hit power or to hit stick them. It just doesn't matter. And then as far as the Willie Brown, he's awesome, but he's he an LTD, and you'd have to really power him up and come up to make him great. I'd much rather just get Nitro in lane. Similar similar look, except Nitro is probably going to have more hit power. But overall, he's kind of like a replica of like a Nitro in lane Jalen Ramsey build, except he probably, and he's pretty athletic too as well when you catch the ball, but I think he'll probably stick with Nitro in lane. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to go down below. Smash that like button, turn that notification, boys. Hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, like I said, if you did, if you've been enjoying these videos, also make sure to check out later today's later video, which should be going over some of the stuff we're doing in Madden right now. I don't know when they'll drop. Probably closer to 
probably around like 3 p.m. Eastern time is kind of when I've been dropping the second video. Kind of like a nice schedule I got going on for this. But that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.